hello everyone welcome back to our channel i hope that you guys are having an amazing day today and in today's video i am showing you the last three eyeshadow looks using the new tati beauty palette for a total of nine eyeshadow looks and just like the last two videos i will be using the p louise eyeshadow base for every single eyeshadow look and i will only be jumping in with a voiceover when i feel the need to explain something so let's go ahead and jump right into the video so for this first eyeshadow look i'm starting off with the matte black and i'm gonna pack on this color right onto the lid and then i am taking a small pencil brush and i'm gonna soften the edges Next, I am taking the matte orange from the palette and I'm packing this right up above the black and then softening the edges. And because I want this orange to also be my transition color, I am going to be switching over to a synthetic blending brush and I am going to be blending out the orange to a very light orange. Once it has blended out to a lighter orange, I am going to come back in and right in between the black and the orange, I am going to build up the pigment one more time, but I'm trying not to touch the transition area because I want that area to remain light and I actually didn't like the way that it was looking and I felt that we needed an in-between color so I ended up going in with the matte brown from the palette and I am going to be basically packing the color and just blending it right in between the black and the orange to create a better gradient than what we had before and I know it looks messy but I promise it will all turn out really nicely just trust the process it looks pretty messy right now but anyway what I'm doing now is using the P. Louise eyeshadow base and I'm creating the base for my winged liner So this is the completed look for look number seven. I hope that you guys like it. I wanted to do something easy and more of like a smoky cat eye with the pop of gold as the liner. So I hope that you guys like it, but let's go ahead and move on to look number eight. So moving on to the next eyeshadow look, I am going to grab the matte brown from the palette and I'm just going to start packing this color from the inner corner to the outer corner. This is going to be a halo eyeshadow look. So whatever we do to the inner corner, we have to also do to the outer corner. So 
so now moving on i am going to be taking a blending brush and i'm going to start by softening the edges once the edges are nice and softened i am going to start blending out this color a lot more i do want this color to also act as my transition color so i am going to blend out the brown until i can get it as light as i possibly can to use as my transition color And to intensify the look a little bit more, I decided to come in with a bit of the black and I'm applying that to the inner corner, the outer corner, and the outer corner. Remember, since this is a halo eyeshadow look, whatever we do to the inner corner, we also have to do to the outer corner. Okay, the rest of the steps are pretty easy, so I'm just going to let you guys watch without me being annoying and talking over the steps, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. So this is the end of look number eight and yeah I hope that you guys like it. I wanted to do something soft but something that just gave us a lot of light in the center of the lid with a little pop of color on the lower lash line. So I hope that you like it but let's move on to the last eyeshadow look.
But for this last eyeshadow look, I decided to do a cut crease. So I'm starting off with the matte purple and I'm just packing that right into the crease. Once the color is packed, I am going to soften the edges just like the other eyeshadow looks. So originally this look was not going to be a cut crease and this is where I decided to make it a cut crease. So I'm going to start extending the eyeshadow out towards my brow bone and basically I'm just putting eyeshadow where I want the cut crease to go. So that's what I'm going to do here. It's going to look super messy and very ugly but it will turn out okay in the end. <laughs> So just like I told you guys, it looks pretty ugly, but it's okay. It's gonna all look okay. Just trust the process. Um, anyway, I am now moving on to the matte orange and I'm just applying that right up above the purple. And for this orange, I'm just going to pack it and then I am going to lightly soften the edges. So as you guys can see, we lost a bit of pigment per usual. So what I'm going to do now is go back and forth a few times between the orange and the purple. And I'm just going to build up the pigment, blend them out. And I'm going to do that a couple of times until I'm happy with the way it looks. And now it is time to cut the crease. So I am taking the P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade 0.0 and I'm just going to be mapping out where I want the cut crease. And now you guys can see why I had to end up pulling the eyeshadow uh, further out because if I didn't, I would not have had enough space to actually draw the cut crease shape. So that's why we had to look a little bit messy before we come back to looking a little bit neater so anyway i'm just mapping this out for right now and then i am going to clean off all of the extra eyeshadow with a q-tip So once I have the rough draft and I have cleaned off the extra eyeshadow, I like to clean up the cut crease and I like to use brushes from Michaels. Um, these are actually from my professional set that I got a few years ago from Michaels. Uh, but any like any brushes that you guys have that are like tiny and thin will work um, those really work the best for like detail work on the eye but anyway i'm just gonna continue to clean this up and moving on Next, I wanted to add pink glitter all over the cut crease, but I did not like the way that it looked at all. So I ended up just taking it off with my finger and using this glitter instead. So I'm just going to be putting this glitter all over the lid.
so this is the finished eyeshadow look of look number nine i hope that you guys liked all of the eyeshadow looks let me know down below which one out of the nine was your favorite i did make a playlist with all of the videos with the tati beauty palette and i also included the review and the swatches of the palette on my eyes in that playlist as well so i will put that in the description box below in case you guys are interested in watching uh, the review or any of the other eyeshadow looks but thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you on the next one bye